Hello everybody and welcome to this new Vintage Weekend. In this episode, Fabian and I are driving to Milan and as you can see, the weather is not on our side. We've planned to go sightseeing and we're also going to visit four different vintage stores, so come along with us and enjoy the trip. This is the beautiful Duomo, the main cathedral of the city. And there is also a giant Christmas tree that you will see lighten up this evening. We've also planned to visit the Museo del Novecento. After having a pasta alla carbonara, we're ready to visit the first vintage store, that is Umana Vintage. I'm going to put the address of all the stores that we'll visit down in the info box, so you can check them out. Humana is a chain of stores. It is very similar to a charity shop because with their profits they promote humanitarian projects all over the world. The clothes here are well displayed in racks. For example, here you can find a million of vintage cardigans. And there are also a couple of gems here. Here you can find leather jackets, this one is cool and very wearable, but it has a white stain right there in the front. And the price is 37 euros and it seems to be my size. I am not against furs when they are secondhand. This true fur is 69 euros. I can't imagine how much it can have cost when it was brand new in a retail shop. And now Fabiano is playing with the zoom. <laughs> what is he doing? A few months ago I visited Umana Vintage in Rome and I was so curious to see this one. Um, I have to say that the one in Rome had more high-end brands, while here I don't see many. Here you can find mixed scarves, and some of them are made of silk. This jacket caught my attention. I like the color palette and it is surely a vintage piece, uh, maybe from the 70s. Here we have blazers and jackets, and lately I'm drawn to plaid fabrics. Here I have found some interesting pieces, but they are not my size. I am looking for a new colored coat and this violet one seems cute, even if it's not vintage. It is by Giorgio Cauten and the price is 49 euros. I think I'm going to try it on. This matching set is very wrinkly, 22 euros for the dress and 22 for the blazer. 27 euros for this tweed coat, but it is way too big for me. 35 euros for this leather jacket but I can see that it is missing a button. This trench coat is by Pinko, the price is 39 euros. I love berets. 
here I have found one inspired to Etro and here we have the black version of the one you saw in my Christmas haul video. On the cash desk there are other silk scarves and I have seen this one that looks familiar and in fact it is by Miss Sony and I would love to add it to my collection. The price is 49 euros. I am trying on the trench coat by Pinko that honestly looked better on the hanger than the violet coat. It is too large for me. And then the vintage jacket, which has a problem with the zip. It is cute, but I'm not 100% sure, so it's a no. And this is my outfit for today. I have a bright pink coat, a thrifted scarf and a vintage blue hat that I got in Paris many years ago. Uh, it is my rain hat. On the upper floor, there is the men's section. Well, maybe it's better to come another day. We're going to visit other shops later on this video, but now... We booked the ticket to visit the terraces... Terraces? The terrace <laughs> yeah. of the Duomo. And uh, now it's not raining, so it's a good moment to go upstairs. I can't wait to be on that rooftop, but this is the queue line and then we'll have to climb up the stairs. We've just reached the first level. From up here we can appreciate the Gothic decorations of the Duomo, so beautiful, and have a view on the square beyond us. <laughs> Let's climb up to the top. Well, it's a bit crowded, but you can see the entire city from here. The view is amazing, even if it's beginning to rain again. Io volevo vedere il tramonto da qui. Sì, aspetta. Quanti giorni? After visiting the huge Duomo, we're back on the square and right around the corner we have found this pastry shop by the famous Eugenio Massari. We got hot chocolate and a couple of sweet pastries. It's time to visit the Museo del Novecento with great paintings by Kandinsky, screen prints by Andy Warhol, but also light installations and uh, kinetic art. Oh, mamma, adesso vado a sbattere da qualche parte. Ah, no, di qua. Non credo sia quello il senso di questo ambiente. On the last floor, there is this light installation by Lucio Fontana and then the view on the Duomo by night. Now we are going to have dinner in this pub and then visit the Christmas market. The Duomo is all light enough and so is the beautiful Christmas tree. The luxury boutiques have their own light decorations. They are unbelievably big. This is Loro Piana. This one is Cartier with the panther coming out of a window. And this is Hermes. Amazing! is shining and here is the second shop that I've selected, Madame Pauline Vintage. She is specialized in luxury vintage fashion and I'm so excited to visit her shop. Let's see what she has. The shop is so cute, everything is well displayed and sorted according to color combination 
and uh, having a look through these racks is a feast for the eyes. Many pieces here are true vintage in perfect conditions and there are many high-end brands such as this shirt by Yves Saint Laurent, 375 euros. Ho appena beccato una cosa di Yves Saint Laurent, mm. questa è Versace. Bella questa. Bella, molto bella. Prezzo? 250. Of course, the prices are quite high, but the quality and the selection are amazing. This is the most beautiful shirt I've ever seen. It's by Christian Dior, 175 euros. There's also this skirt that could match with it. There are some cute jackets and other garments with the label of Pauline's boutique. Um, I guess these are her own creations. Very cute. Ti piace questa? Mm -hmm. Che marca è? Mm. Piace anche a me. Quanto? 375. This is another stunning piece, it's a vintage cape, I can't see any label on it but anyway I can feel the quality of the fabric and I love this shade of pink, uh, this is 225 euros. Here we have a Prada blazer, look at the fabric, and then a Pierre Cardin coat with a nice vintage cut. And then this vintage pink coat seems to be my size. And there is also a Hermes silk scarf. Che bello! Ha la targhetta o è rimasto senza? No, ce l'ha qua. Eccola qua. Tutto. E prezzo? Prezzo 250. Mm. Sì, il suo. Sì, eh, sì. Gli Hermes vanno tra i 200 e i 250 secondo un po' delle condizioni che sì. li ritiriamo. I am in love with these boots. They are so unique. I've never seen anything like this before. If you're looking for a dress for a special occasion, this is the right place because here you can find high-end, outstanding pieces for less than half their retail price. Mm? Carina? 600 euro. Eh, ancora la sua etichetta che sono nuovo? Nuovo, nuovo di zecca. I am going to try on the pink coat and also this vintage one from the 70s. The price is 200 euros. The detail that I like best is the color and of course the fabric is so special. I would wear it with an antique pink scarf or maybe a cognac brown one. Um, it has pockets but it is too big for me. So let's try on the other one. 
This looks so elegant. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit loose on my bust, but I love the pink buttons and also the straight cut, even if I generally prefer more fitted coats. We've got other two vintage shops to visit, so let's go! Walking to the Castello Sforzesco, we decided to stop in the Fauschwarz toy shop. Fauschwarz is a very old toy brand. They have had a shop in New York since 1870 and this one in Milan opened just one year ago. We got some presents for our friends and now we are visiting the Castello Sforzesco. Inside the castle you can see the Pietà Rondanini by Michelangelo, which was his last unfinished masterpiece. A few minutes of walk from the castle you can find Surplus. This vintage shop seems to have more like a 70s glam rock style that is not really my style, but anyway, let's give it a chance. Let me see. Um, they have a mix of vintage and new pieces. This one is 85 euros. This one is 119 euros. This wrinkly one is 85. But here they have berets with all the colors of the rainbow. Beautiful! Fifty euros each. I love fedora hats and I recently thrifted a vintage one that has exactly this same color and I believe you will see it in the next video. These are all 55 euros. This shop has its own branded clothes too, but they are not brand new, they seem to be alterations of vintage clothes. So this is an example. There is the old black tag and then the blue surplus tag, so probably this was a longer shirt that now has been cropped. And I like it, I, I think it's a great idea. The price for a modified shirt is 35 euros. can find some mixed scarves. The ones made of silk are around 35 euros. I can't see any brand here, but they have a nice selection. I like this blue snake skin leather belt. The price is 39 euros. Lately I'm looking for vintage belts and here they have both vintage and second-hand pieces. Here I have spotted a coral silk shirt. I love the pleated fabric and also the embroideries, so cute. And this vintage floral dream dress is 49 euros. I was curious to see the length, so here it is. Um, I would definitely wear it with a belt and cowboy boots to give it a boho chic vibe. Che hai trovato? <laughs> Aggressive. Fabiano is just joking, these are not my style, but they are very cool. Ma insomma! <laughs> this is another vintage shirt that has been cropped. They added an elastic band. Uh, I think it's nice.
Now we are in the men's section, but here I see mostly brand new clothes. Potresti vestirti così? Perché no? Carino. Cosa ti piace? Mm? Piccolo. Um, there are also a few vintage jackets, some leather ones, and these are from some kind of college sports team. So cool. To my surprise, Fabiano has found a vintage piece that he likes. Io voto sì. <laughs> Dai, a Natale. Dai, lo provi. Guess what? He didn't want to try it on, so we ended up not buying it. This vintage shop is called La Bottega Rossa, which means the red workshop, and the owner is dressed like a sailor. Can you see him? Outside the door there are lamps, china, some vases. Inside, the room is so small that we can't walk side by side. The owner told us that this is the oldest vintage shop in town. It has more than 50 years. There is a selection of old hats and then this rack is really packed with true vintage clothes. This long dress is by Valentino Garavani. You could wear it with a belt. Maybe the print is a bit too much for me, but the cut is amazing and the fabric is so soft and flowy. This blazer is by Ungaro. Um, this shop has only a few high-end branded items, but they are cool. This jacket has a beautiful blue color and a good quality fabric too, and I like the buttons. I totally fell in love with this coat. The color is pastel orange. No, no, molto carino questo, però purtroppo leggermente piccolino. The price is 80 euros, but I loved it so much. But I felt that my arms couldn't move, so I ended up not buying it. We also loved these two lamps from the 50s, they were 60 and 120 euros.
that was it for today i hope you had fun coming along with us um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up this will help my channel to grow thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you very soon in the next one bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> bye.